And uh, thanks everyone for coming and grooving out with me and saying goodbye to me. And I love taking all those pictures. So when you write me in jail, you can put your picture of me in there and then I'll remember where we met before and so your letter will have good resonance with me. I'll remember, oh, I remember that. And thanks to David Malmalameen and Dana Larson and Chris Bennett and uh, the highlight of actors. Hey, I just want to point out something. I'm going to jail for sure. And uh, but David Malmalameen gets sentenced too for selling marijuana on October 2nd. And they're looking to put him in jail for a year too. So this might be his last public speech and rally for a little while. And we'll both be on ice for a while. And you can see how that's going. They're obviously trying to put the serious activists. David went to the Supreme Court in December 2003, the only Canadian to do so in 40 years, to try and make marijuana legal. Got to the Supreme Court. And we lost six to three. All the Francophone judges voted for us. They wanted to legalize pot, and the six white Anglophone judges all voted against us to make pot criminal. So the problem is almost in all in English Canada. So it's up to us to solve that problem. In the meantime, David Malmavine could be going to jail in as early as two weeks, and I'll be going to jail on Monday, September 28th. You can come and see, demonstrate at the courthouse, show your support. I'll be down at 900 Smythe Street from nine in the morning to 10 in the morning to talk to supporters and talk to media and then I'll be taken into court and then I'll be put into custody and I'll be put in jail in North Fraser and then the Attorney General of Canada, Rob Nicholson, will have to sign my extradition order and you should demand that they not extradite me. You should demand that Rob Nicholson not sign those papers and not extradite me. And if they really believe they have a case, they should have me charged in Canada. And if I was charged in Canada, I wouldn't be extradited. And then we would see what some Canadian judge under Canadian law with a Canadian jury and a Canadian public and a Canadian prison system, then I'm willing to concede that I would take my chance in that. But I'm going to be for an American judge, American law, an American prison, an American DEA, and I haven't hurt anybody, and no one like me should ever be extradited to the most bloodthirsty nation on earth. Let's face it, America, America is as cruel as it gets. They've got their army in 125 countries around the world. They're the modern imperial empire. They imprison more people than anywhere else on earth by a long shot. They have cruel, barbaric prisons run by people who are making just a paycheck. It's a prison for profit system, and they've got two and a half million people keeping that business industry going. And that's what it's all about in the United States of America. So by all means, please do your best to resist you know, Bill C-15 this week, call your senator, vote against the conservative government, let's get out and vote in the next election. Stoners typically don't vote, and that's why we get screwed. So you've got to get out and vote. Write me in jail. Look forward to hearing from everybody. Thank you, David Mama Levine, for an awesome time here today. And back to you, sir. Thank you, Mark Henry. Thank you for teaching me how to be a businessman. When I came here from Edmonton, I was just a, a loudmouth socialist with no business skills whatsoever. Mark told me, I remember we were walking down, um, uh, I think it was Campy Street, and he gave me this very wise bit of business advice. It was the only real business advice he ever gave me. The rest he just modeled for me and showed me how to do by demonstrating. But he told me this one little bit of business advice, and I'll tell you what he told me. He said, David, spend money with people. Don't throw all your money into a project. Throw half your money and half of somebody else's money into a project. Cooperate with people. Don't just do it all by yourself. Get Form partnerships and get people together and get a big team going. Because you can't do anything by yourself. You can only do things with other people. So Mark is one of the most cooperative business people I've ever met. He also hired a lot of the coolest people I ever met in my life. He has a great uh, eye for talent, and I gotta hand it to him. Uh, all the most, the people I admire most in life, Mark, have been at one time or another one of your employees. So thank you for gathering this team together, and also thank you, Mark, for like other people, rich people, they spend a billion or two of their money on 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 activism, and then they keep billions themselves. Mark spent about 90 to 95 percent of all the money he ever made on activism. And I think he's the most generous businessman I have ever met in my life, so thank you for that too, Mark. He spent on my court case, he spent on other people's court cases, he spent money on posters for the whole Worldwide Marijuana March. Mark spent so much money, he 
he just wanted to, to, to spend his life on changing these insane laws. And I think he, he sets a good example for the rest of us. You might not be a big wheel like Mark Henry, you might just be a small time pot dealer like me, but you can too can spend 80 to 90% of your extra money on making marijuana legal. And you know, it doesn't take a, a million of those people to do so. It just takes a few hundred people like that to do it. So I want you to join our team, join with us, and become a full-time marijuana activist. There's no life like it. It's the best life on earth. And even if they do throw your ass in jail, at least you stood up. At least you can look your, your brothers and sisters and your children in the eye and say, hey, I did something about this horrendous cultural genocide, this horrific drug war crime. I was one of the brave flower people who stood up against it and said, no, you can't t touch those people. They didn't hurt anybody. They're just happy, hungry, relaxed people. Leave them alone. And you can join that team. And there's, it's, it's the best high in the world is standing up for your rights. So thank you, Mark Emery, for setting the most excellent example of how to be a proud pothead. Thank you, Mark Emery. Woo!